My goodness, Mr. Vitell, the heat is on, and I mean literally. It's got to be over 110 degrees on the court, and at this point in the tourney, fatigue could be a factor. Only one team can leave the island of Maui as champion, so strap yourself in, folks, for this winner takes all battle between the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and the Texas Arlington Mavericks. Number two is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Mavericks will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Mavericks are sure of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First, get the ball out of the interior. See if he can get their big men into foul trouble. Next... Take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Thirdly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. There's a high screen. From the top of the key, you betcha. Post screen, close to the lane. And the ball goes out of play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. Number one gets the ball. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Step out on that screener. The Warriors have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts it up, looking for contact. It's a drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. On the dribble, gives it up. Number two gets the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Jumps into the defender. He drains the bucket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Trying to feed the low block. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Off the rim and no good. They go into the low block. A little frustration right there. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Got the high pick from three-point land. He drains the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Down inside. Moving it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. 
trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Number three is feeling great right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails the tray. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the mark. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Turns it over. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Let's it fly. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and most. And has it rejected. He, he gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They'll work it around the arc. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Now trying to feed the low block. Number 30 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. goes to the line and there they miss one he sinks it gave it up the small forward takes the pass. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> They're working around the perimeter. On the, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. The Mavericks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The shooting guard with the ball. Way off target.
Look the perimeter. Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. Control of the ball. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Another turnover. You're not talking out the turnovers either. For the bucket, the land. Goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. For two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. Gave it up. Number 13 takes the feed. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. From the top of the circle. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Great anticipation defensively. It's a fast break possibility. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Set that screen away. Tries one from three point land. He hits the shot. Show the replay on that. <laughs> on the outside. Takes away the pass. He fakes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks at the hoop on the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's go to the video tag for that one. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Texas Arlington are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number zero has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's been a step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Number three is whistled for the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Look at that spacing. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. He tries to knock down the three. Drains the shot. The fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Mavericks have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to drop. The ball goes out of play. shot way off target takes the pass in the paint Hawaii have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick they're really on a nice run right here tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move stolen here we go on the break. Looking for the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. For two. The Warriors have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. look if he wants it with a little baby hook I tell you waste any time he got the ball in the right position and then what it does it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn a high screen perfectly executed the replay's not even enough for this one as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us good job defensively gets it back out penetrates and kicks back they've left him completely alone he attempts the three not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Picks off the lazy pass. Oh, 
little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He bombs from outside. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. Picks off the pass. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Fake. See the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. Number zero is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Up and in. Defense giving some room. He shoots from the baseline. That was nice. There's the trap. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Dump it inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Shoots from outside. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Good fake. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. There's the screen up on top. Working it around the perimeter. Outside jumper. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Jumps in, and he scores it off the glass. From downtown, that one's off. He had to hurry that one. He misses from beyond the arc. At the end of the first half, the Rainbow Warriors are down by 12. Texas Arlington is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Got it. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Wow, look at him rotate over. He'll take it the other way. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Three pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He hits it. The shooting guard receives the pass. He shows the sweet touch. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed. With the fake. Dumps it in. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. High post player flashing. Ten seconds to get it off. He drains the bucket. screen the small forward handles the feed he strokes it off the rim and no good gave it up entry pass in the paint that spin moves not going to work against it and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Moving it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. He gets it to fall. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wanted that with a personal foul instead. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. For the deuce, Texas Arlington are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. With the fake. 
Pressure that basketball. Help one another communicate. Watch this shot. Number zero is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Fires away. He hits the shot. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice high post screen. The working around the arc. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Fakes it. There they come with a double team to stop it. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. He's money with the shot. This is worth the second look. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Jump hook from the low block. Texas Arlington are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Double team now, bad angle. Finger roll. Only the replay can do this justice. shot he lets it go way off target gave it up looking for a good shot Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses from long range. Easy one.
Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. High post flasher is open. There's a high screen. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot and he did a great job he anticipated that spin move trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing the ball goes out of bounds. I think it's time for our focus player update. What have you noticed here in the second half? I tell you one thing, he is really playing poorly. He's really standing around. He's not creating any opportunities. And the same really has affected his teammates. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. And he missed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. Number 20 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. He makes the first shot. No doubt about it. Third shot is good. Takes it off him. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two. And off the mark. They're working around the perimeter. On the inside. For two. Up. Easy one. the ball goes out of play points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy baskets no luck finding the basket the last few trips down court dick what they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Coming inside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. the circle they work it around the perimeter picked out of the air on the outside tries for two 
Great play to take that to the basket. Roll that one back. Fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. They're working around the arc. He throws up the shot. He nails the shot. away from the post and goes the other way and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. He drains it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He shoots from long range. He gets the shot to fall. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job. He blocks the shot. Intercepted. Number 33 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 10 looks to record his first minutes. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this buck. He hits the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's got an open look for the shot. Looking for a good shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, that's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Here's a double team. He takes the shot off the baseline, and he can't hit the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. With a bucket, contact causes the shot to come off. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from left of the circle. He misses from long distance. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass.
From left of the circle, it's no good. That's basic. On the outside. And that one's blocked. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. There's a double team waiting there. It's stolen. Timeout's called. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. the timeout. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. He rejects it. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. Stolen ball. Goes out of bounds. As we see the game situation here. Hey Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. You run them right at the screen again. What did I say? The land. Timeout on the floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. Play to resume. He launches the bomb. No good from the field. On the dribble, gives it up with a deep pass. Dump it inside. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. from the top of the circle. He doesn't get the hoop. Gave it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Dick, you look back at our final focus player update of the ball game, and it's probably not what he was expecting tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Texas Arlington wins a game that was never really close. This has got to go down in the books as one of the biggest victories in school history. They'll be talking about this one for years. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.